Hey yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy JKC here, and I'm here with my boy Bright. Yo, what's going on YouTube? So today is Anime Warriors 2 Update 7, which is the Attack on Titan update. Also, just wanted to say sorry for missing the Update 6 release. I was planning to make a video on that. So as you can see the background, I'm already here. The update just got out. But we got some big things. So the main thing I want to talk about, first of all, we got a 10 level increase. We got what seems to be a secret boss, and then we also got eight new traits. Now, I already looked through the traits. The traits are Luck 1, Luck 2, Luck 3, Magnetic 1, Magnetic 2, Magnetic 3, and then there's a Gold Greed, which I'm assuming increases Yen, and then there's an Astral, which looks like space somewhat. So, this is the new world. As you can see, the, the mini boss is Giant Beast, which is Colossal Titan. Yep, the secret boss is still here. So we found a secret boss. Now, because we're in a private server, I'm pretty sure it instantly spawns. So it says question mark, question mark, question mark. It has 630 billion health, which is not that much. And it is Blackbeard in Attack on Titan, which is not normal. So I'm going to kill this secret boss and we're going to see what happens. Um, hopefully, maybe it gives you some type of special drop or something. I have no clue. Also, if you guys can't tell by my team, I've really been working on the game right now. I have five secrets. Um, been playing. Oh, it gave me... Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it, it the secret boss gave me something called Corrupt Gold. Bright, you there? Yeah. Yeah, so it gave me Corrupt Gold. Now, I'm presuming, because this look is just like gold, I'm presuming this is how you buy from a corrupt merchant. So this is a normal merchant, right? But I'm pretty sure the corrupt merchant um, like takes that corrupt gold. And I'm assuming, considering I only got one, and that it's rare... That it probably is extremely good, I'm assuming. Right? I mean, that would make sense. So we're going to pop a luck boost here. We're going to do a 1 plus 1 open. And we're going to do some summons. So from what I can tell, uh, the common I do not know. The uncommon I think is Mikasa. The rare is Blonchik. I forget her name. Legendary is Erwin. Seems mythical is Levi. So we're going to open them up. Oh, wow. I have to say, the 9 summoning screen is nice. I like this. Looks good. Also, I just made the screen a little bit bigger for you guys. May see it moving on the video. Just want to make you guys have a better angle. So far, we've gotten just the epic as our best pull. Bro, there's no way people are already pulling the secret that fast. You have to be kidding me. I mean, can I be one? Eh? Uh, eh? Uh? That would just make this video wonderful. Okay, we got a legendary. Oh, I did forget to mention, by the way, also, these units are now being summoned at level 101 starting, meaning these guys are going to give huge EXP. I mean, huge, huge. Because 101 is an insanely high level already, so the amount of EXP we're going to be getting from this is big. So what you working on, Bright? Uh, I'm just farming up, trying to farm up Frank Kingdom right now. Hopefully I'm going to get there today, hopefully, maybe. You should be able to get there pretty easily, honestly. I mean, if you just yeah. use your damage and money buff and just farm bosses, you should be able to farm up there quickly. Yeah. Another thing, I'm going to tell this to Bright as well, but all of you guys who are like more like free-to-play or just like lower worlds, the main thing you need to focus on is just leveling up you, like your strong units. Like, if you make a shiny mythic like from One Piece like you did, Bright, you just need to level that up. Like, you, you, you got to focus on the mythics that you have. Because even lower world mythics leveled up are going to be better than your legendaries from like your newest world. So, like, what you just do is you summon and anything you can't use, like, let's say everything, like, above a legendary is good. So you summon, and then anything a, le a legendary or below, you just feed to that u different unit, and you switch it out every once in a while. To get them all to, like, level 50 or 60, whatever, like, level area you're in. I mean... Yep, oh, very simple. Yep. Now, you guys may notice that I am only warrior rank. The reason I haven't gotten the top two ranks yet uh, is mainly just because I've been playing a lot of other games right now because so much shit's going on. Also, uh, today Anime Tales is coming out. Uh, tonight, uh, the day you guys are seeing this video, I will be live streaming the release of Anime Tales and I'm going to be farming it all night. So, if y'all want to come by and do some raids and bosses all night and whatnot, hella, make sure to drop by because I'm for sure going to be farming that tonight. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be good. I'm giving a lot of legendaries. Yeah. Now I'm assuming by the name of secrets that I saw two people pull, saying the founder. 
I'm gonna take a guess and say that it's Aaron from the Rumbling. With his hair and, you know, not. Oh, there's our first shiny rare. That's nice. Oh, let me make sure I'm actually feeding a unit that needs to be fed. Yes, yeah, see, he doesn't need to be fed. He's... Oh, the max level's new, actually. Yes, they do. All right, let me level up my Angelic Eisen, then. My Angelic Eisen is currently my strongest unit in the game. He's my secret with a uh, with, an, with a rainbow trait. Now, as I was saying, there is t multiple new traits. There's Luck and Collector, which is Luck 1, Luck 2, Luck 3, same with Collector. Now, I can see those being good, but the ones I'm really excited about are Greed and Astral. I think Greed, because it's a gold trait, I'm assuming maybe it's like a 50% yen buff. Which is really good for new players, by the way. You guys should try and aim to get that. Especially since it's only a legendary. And then also with Astral, I'm gonna assume it's some type of big damage buff. Or it gives them some type of special or I have no clue. Um, actually, you know what? I think we can figure it out. I have, uh, I think around 130 rerolls I can do for my Gon. My shiny Gon on my team that I actually need to reroll. And I can try and go for uh, Greed or Astral. And we can see if I can get one. Hopefully I could. So it seems the secret boss, by the way, guys, the Blackbeard boss just drops corrupt gold. Um, and it shows you a symbol on your teleport thing where the corrupt boss is at that time. Like, uh, if you have Attack on Titan unlocked, it shows a Blackbeard symbol on it. As we saw in the teleport thing. When I was teleporting back here from trait, looking at the traits. As his corrupt event actually helps me with my boss farming. <laughs> the corrupt events always help out. Now, as I was saying, I don't know if I fucking I don't know if I said this. It is a 1.5 luck event and 1.5 uh, boss shard event or boss drops, which I think is honestly really good because the times two drops was amazing. But I rather have 1.5 drops along with 1.5 luck. I think it's just honestly the best. I think it's the best event they've done yet. And I think it'll definitely help, help out newer players because it buffs their luck and their uh, traits drops. Because especially I know most lower players, if they're smart, they'd be going into lower worlds to get like a shiny mythical or something. And with the 1.5 drops, you can easily get materials from the boss. Um, which I feel like most free-to-play players, as long as they've been playing and redeeming the codes and getting the Robux eggs for, for free at like the minute, you should be probably in like probably just reaching My Hero, probably Ant. Or a little bit higher if you're like full grinding. And then anyone who pays to win like me could very easily be at the top world right now if you just farm. But all it is is just grinding, honestly. It's a lot of just farming. Yeah. I mean, hey, there he is, Levi. All right, there's mythical Levi. His aura looks pretty fucking clean. His name is Survivor. I like it. He looks good. He actually, let me look at his stats real quick. I want to see how good he is. Um, he looks sick. I want to see what, like, his stats are. Like, now, I'm going to assume uh, he's probably better than a secret rare if he's shiny three-star. Uh, let's take, for example, my lower secret rare, right? Level one, he's 243. Now, if we took a shiny, shiny three-star, yeah, way better, actually. Yeah. So, he's actually really good. That's a really good mythical. This mythical is uh, on secret level when maxed. Um, yeah, so very, very good. This is definitely a big improvement on the mythical department. Oh, there we go. We just got a unit with Collector 3. Oh, that's neat. Nice. Um, which, I mean, I didn't keep, but... Where is the thing? Hmm. All right. Now we're gonna go do. Actually, you know, what? I'll show off the traits later, and maybe I can summon one of them. Um. I do think this game has potential to become, well, I don't know. 
I was just saying this potential to become the biggest Roblox game, biggest anime game ever made on Roblox. But that's kind of a strong claim. I don't know. This this game's this update I think really just improved this game a lot. Um, the traits are especially a big thing. Um, also, for anyone who's wondering if you're a free-to-play player watching this, they have confirmed, by the way, next update, there's going to be a pity system for traits. So, every 100 rerolls is a legendary, and I think it was like every 500 or something is a mythical. So, there will be trait reroll pities now, which is really good. Especially for, uh, play to wins as well, because that means if we have 100 plus materials, we're guaranteed a legendary or better trait on our secret or whatever we're rolling. So, that's really fucking good. So I'm glad they're actually bringing that in because that's just going to make it very easy for me to know how much I need. Because I'll just be like, I get 100, I can guarantee get a legend here higher. So. And I'll just let you know, if you're a beginner player and you're wondering like, how is a fast way I can farm up fast without spending Robux? I'm going to give you this tip. If you have trait rule units, like let's say you go to One Piece, got shiny mythics or just mythics and you level them up. Trait reroll and try and get them all to either have any of the legendaries or get golden. The reason why you want golden, even though it's not that good stat wise, it gives you 25% yen increase. And if you have the max equips, meaning you have the two missions done and you're 40 free to play, meaning you can equip six in total, or no, five. Uh, I think it's free to play is five. Anyways, if you have five or six, however many it is, free to play cap, I think. Um, with each of them with a golden, that's 25% yen boost per thing. That's almost a three times yen boost just between that. And then if you have double yen gate pass, it doubles that. Like, for example, if greed's a 50% yen boost, then I would honestly say for farming, like a pro like me, Thanks. it would just be better just to full run it. Because I could just make a full team of, like, mythics in this world, all with greed, and then I'd have, like, a 900% yen buff with double yen. It'd be 1,800% yen buff. I would be 18 times oh, yen. Dear. Which is, um... <laughs> A lot of yen. I could probably reach a <laughs> quinillion in probably an hour with that. I mean, honestly, it's it's just honestly, it's honestly really good. So thank you all so much for watching. Go We're ahead, gonna Jay. be ending it off here. Um, adios, amigos.